You have got to be kidding me. Welcome back everybody to another episode of CSK News. I was going to start off today's episode by telling you all about a new rumor about possibly having Mixwell, who was formerly on Optic, to start a new Spanish roster. We had rumors out there saying maybe FNX, maybe Fox, maybe people like Lowell, who had just been released by Mouse Sports, were going to be targets for his new team. If he wanted to go back to Europe and play with an all Spanish speaking team, but just released a couple minutes ago at the point of me recording this by Slingshot Esports, I'll link the article down below for all of you. It does seem as of right now, Mouse Sports will have their newest member, B. Mixwell, from Optic Gaming. Now this may be the most powerful and diverse roster on screen for all of you. Just add Mixwell into that and you're going to have a top hitting team which makes a lot more sense now. I, I could say honestly we had these rumors a couple days ago. I didn't think that he would go to Mouse Sports. I did not think he would actually leave Optic Gaming because in an interview himself a couple days ago, you guys saw the clip in an interview himself he said Optic Gaming was his home and Hector the owner over there has, you know, he's given him so many chances taking a risk on Mixwell in the first place but Mixwell, money is king. He has been bought out from Optic Gaming according to the report by Slingshot Esports and he will be joining Mouse Sports in a powerful lineup for all of you because apparently Sonny from Penta will also join and replace Dennis on that lineup and that leaves three of their top hitters still on Mouse Sports. We're going to have Oscar, Rops, Chris J alongside Mixwell and Sonny. Now please picture this in your head guys. Imagine this. We have Chris J, a legendary secondary opera on that team because Oscar is a great primary opera but Chris J also retains his spot because he's a great IGL so they're going to have that IGL they needed. Mixwell is not going to be that guy, but Mixwell is also going to be another secondary opera along with a pristine rifler, bringing it probably the glue of the team there, along with Rops, of course the best up and comer right now, and alongside that Sonny from Penta, you can't really argue with his performances, especially in the past major. Mouse Sports is going to have a dominant lineup. Can they make use of it? And we'll see in a couple days if this actually is 100% confirmed. As of right now, it's still a rumor, but highly likely, guys, that Mouse Sports Mixwell is a thing. Now, on top of this, even bigger rumors you guys saw in the thumbnail, Olaf Meister is almost 100% confirmed going to FaZe Clan. We had a Don tweet out this. Other co-aligning evidence of this is actually, if you go to Fa Fnatic's website, guys, they are pushing Olaf Meister gear like no other. Actually, on their front page, you guys see there's six main articles. Two of those actual, I think there's only five. Two of those five main articles on the website itself are all about Olaf Meister, first of which they're pushing his signed jerseys out there. And on top of that, if you guys go to his mouse pad, they even labeled his mouse pad in the description as a eulogy. If you guys don't know what a eulogy is, that's a speech for a funeral. They literally said, here is our eulogy to Olaf Meister. If it doesn't get more clear than that, guys, yes, it does seem that FaZe Clan will pick up Olaf Meister and will be, be replacing on the chopping block either Alu or Kiyoshima. So two huge trades within the first three minutes of this video, guys. Apparently, FaZe Olaf Meister and Mouse Sports Mixwell. God, those names just sound so good. Mouse Mixwell. Phase Olaf Meister coming soon. And it's really kind of unfortunate after those two hyped up stories, we kind of take it back a bit, guys. Take it back to smaller updates going on. Actually announced late last night, a new update came out to CSGO, and it seems like the nerfing of pistols is coming true, which a lot of pro players have asked for. Mainly, they've asked for, you know, they had one shot headshot for many pistols up close range compared to rifles. Maybe that will be picks, fixed as a part of this update in the near future, but as of right now, it was focused on the Tech 9. Of course, the Tech 9 originally had 32 bullets, then it was 24 in our last patch, and now it's now down to an 18 bullet clip for the Tech 9 as well as increased moving accuracy on the first shot only and decreased accuracy when you try and spray and pray. So a big update there for the Tech 9 and hopefully the P250 other other pistols out there are going to be targets of the future. Many of you know we've actually had several pro players make videos about this on YouTube as well as talk about this in interviews where if you're up close and personal a one shot headshot from a pistol will give you a kill but a one shot headshot from a rifle like an M4 won't kill the guy in every case especially if it has a helmet. So it's going to be cool to see what updates do come out of this, and we'll hopefully talk about that in the future. On top of that, many of you guys in the community, community question section wanted me to talk about kickback.com. Now, I've talked about these guys in a, a, lot, a lot, okay? One of the probably most disappointing websites out there right now because they have just died off. Over 300,000 followers on Twitter, and they haven't posted since January. One of those websites out there that kind of brought to light the 1v1 situation, a place where you can actually make money facing off against CSGO players all around the world. A great idea, supreme idea, and out of nowhere, they just start, they stop tweeting, they stop restocking. I actually did myself a favor, made a profile on their website, and it seems as of right now, they have stock that's actually going to be withdrawn. That stock will be gone probably by the end of the week, and then apparently you guys see the next restock time over 30 days. 
I don't know what this business is doing. If they want to reach out to me and DM me, kickback.com. If you guys want to share a story with us here at CSGO News, I would love to promote you guys in a, in, a, in a better light, but I have no material because your restock timer is now over 30 days at a time, and I feel bad for everyone who actually used your website and has rubies or, or Rufi or whatever you guys call your currency. I want to show them in a better light, but as of right now, kickback.com is one of the most disappointing websites I have seen in the CSGO scene. I don't know where they went, where their money went. It was a great website, great idea, kind of just a, a flaw system I guess so for all you kickback.com users all I can really recommend to you is just to watch that restock timer as close as possible and get your items as fast as possible now this is a speed episode of CSGO news I had to get this out there so I will see you all hopefully tomorrow with more CSGO news if not I will see you Saturday I actually unfortunately kind of take it down a bit I actually have a family funeral on Saturday to go to so I'll be gone most of the day um, but don't feel bad for me guys uh, it's fine uh, just feel bad um, for most of my family so um, I'm going to go. I will see you all hopefully Saturday with another episode of CSGO News. If not, I will see you Sunday. So live, love, laugh, lot. Remember, I like you. Remember, I will, I will see you. Ah!